We're going to take a look at the cash flow tools available in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. Out of the box, users have the ability to generate cash flow statements. We can also manage manual revenue and manual expense items. These are items that wouldn't show up in a cash flow without a manual entry. So an example here is we're expecting the settlement of a sale of a building we did, and we're expecting to get those funds in the month of April. So there's no sales order, there's no invoice for that particular item, uh, but nonetheless, we want the cash flow to take it into account. Another example on the expense side, we do our payroll with our bank. So we know that typically our payroll is 12,000 weekly, so we're gonna recur that expense every week so that the cash flow can take it into account. If we take a look at the cash flow forecasting, we can create as many forecasts as we want. In this case, I have two forecasts I'm working with. This particular forecast, if we take a look at it, we've got some settings that affect what it takes into account when it's generating that cash flow. So do we want it to consider discounts on customer orders or purchase orders? Do we want it to consider payment terms? And do we want to take into account things like our payment tolerance for those payment terms? And do we want it to take into account manual payments? In, and for what dates do we want those included? So we have a few settings uh, at the top level that affect what's included in that cash flow forecasting. If I, if I drill down to the cash flow worksheet, this is where I can enter or generate the cash transactions that the system's expecting us to have. So if I go here to process, I have a tool called Suggest Worksheet Lines. In here, again, I have some choices about what I want to include in those worksheet lines. Do I want my liquid funds, what I have in the bank? Do I want it to take into account receivable sales orders? So we know the date that an order is supposed to ship. We know the payment terms for that particular order. So we can predict uh, when we would get that revenue. We're including those cash flow manual entries, that, that manual worksheet that we created for revenues. We're also including it for expenses based on the setting on the main line and this field here. We also have the ability uh, to use AI out of the box is included that allows us the ability to further refine those ca that cash flow forecast based on machine learning and AI. So I'm going to go ahead and run that. And what it's going to do, it's going to look at all the different types of documents that I selected. So my liquid funds, it's telling me I have a cash balance in certain accounts. It's also taken a look at the posted sales invoices that are sitting in receivables. It's looked at the posted purchase invoices and for the purchase orders and the sales orders. And I've got my manual entries that it's taking into account. And finally, I have some entries from my job module, the project module. So for each of those, it's going to give us the cash flow account and the amount that it's expecting and the date that it's expecting it. I could adjust those. I could delete lines that, I'm, uh, that I'd like to remove. Or, and once I'm done making my changes, I can simply register. it. The result of that is we have a new cash flow for forecast. If I go back and I look at my cash flow forecast, I've got statistics. So overall, what does that look like in terms of for the period, liquid funds, receivables, the manual entries, all of these are drilled down. So I could click on the receivables and see all the entries that are included in the cash flow forecast generated from my receivables. I can also take a look at the cash flow availability by period. So here I can define whether I want to look at it by day, by week, by month, by quarter. Let's take a look by quarter. And then I can select whether I want to see the balance on a particular date or I want to see the net change. So here I'm looking at uh, the P 
period, the current period, I see an amount coming in for receivables, amount for sales orders. I see an amount coming in for manual revenues. All of those again are drill downs. I see amounts going out for payables and purchase orders that are expected to be settled in those periods. I see my manual expenses. I don't have a budget that I'm taking into account. I see uh, information from the jobs. And then I see the expected balance at the end of each of those periods. Again, I can change that to net change. And I can see the net change expected in my cash position for each of those periods. So that's a quick look at how we can manage cash flow forecasting in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central.